Hi guys, welcome back for another one. Today I'm playing my very first PC game on this channel, Transport Fever 2. It's one of my top games of all time, and absolutely I just love train games to be in general, and this one's by far my favorite. Now the one thing this game did recently is it gave us a brand new free update that added a lot more playability to this game which is pretty awesome and that's what i'm going to be tackling today and doing an apex challenge which is every product to every city so if you're not familiar with the challenge it's basically us trying to get every resource in the game which is six different finalized goods and getting that to every city now along the way it's not as simple as just like oh yep here you go we have to grow our cities to make them demand all six goods before we we're able to deliver all six so it's a lot of going on here. So uh, if you guys like to grab this game for yourself, it's on the Steam Workshop. Just, you know, download Steam on your PC. Um, tons and tons of games available. Transport Fever 2, highly recommend it. With that said, we're gonna go ahead and start a brand new free game. We are, let's see, Map says, I was gonna do medium, but I think I'm gonna upgrade it to large. Uh, doing eight towns probably will drag uh, this series out much lo longer than what I normally do for my series, but that's fine. Uh, we'll get it done. We'll get it done. So do a large map. We're doing low towns. We have eight towns total that we're going to have to grow to demand all the goods. We're going to start industries at low. And what I mean by low or what I mean by start, I should say, um, is we are going to be able to grow this number then. And I'll explain that here when we get to the next screen. I am going to do a temperate map. I am turning water off completely. I don't want to do any water. I do just want to do trains and roads. Uh, I might do a water type based map in the future, but for right now, no, uh, hills, uh, we'll leave them as is. It looks like there's already enough hills for us to deal with, so that's good. Forest. Um, I don't mind having a little extra forest. It doesn't bother the map too much because if an industry wants to go in, it's just going to go in where it wants. The forest is not going to bother that too much. And then for the seed. So if you guys want to play the same map as me, um, we're going to type in players assemble. And so, yeah, the map's going to change. I don't know why I was fixated over what the map originally looked like. All right, so we got ooh, one tucked away there, up there, one in between two ranges. That's going to be interesting. Uh, one there on the edge of a range. There, there, there. All right, we're still eight towns, 64 industries to start. Uh, once again, guys, once you type in your seed, you don't want to change any of these bars. As soon as you change all these bars, it will reset the seed. So always set the bars where you want them and then set the seed. We're going to press the next here. Um, in here, we're going to go into, well, this is all going to remain the same. Start year is going to be 1850. We're going to do in hard difficulty again, which, um, there is one more difficulty about this. Very hard, very hard is very tricky <laughs> to try to be successful at it. So I always do hard. It's about the highest difficulty I can go, um, and not, hmm, have it go bankrupt right away, which is a very possibility with very hard. And I kind of want to let this playthrough go. Um, but once again, it's not super easy. Um, really, the towns grow to up to car six cargo needs, which is the apex challenge. They're each every season going to demand two goods off the start, and as they grow, they'll demand more, and we'll be responsible for making them to grow to make them demand more. Um, industry closure frequency sometimes, so sometimes in the industries, if they're not being utilized, they're going to close on us. Um, and eventually, industry target density is high, so right now it's set on low, so it will it will grow from low to medium and then up to high. So by the time we're finished. Um, the density of industries on the map should be represented as high. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to go very high. We'll leave it, we'll leave it at high. All right. So before we get into this, let's go into settings real quick. Advanced settings. Um, I, I tease tropical. Tropical doesn't look that great. We're going to switch this back to temperate. We're going to use American vehicles and American town names. One, American town names because I am American. So there's a much more of a greater chance that I won't screw up the pronunciations. Uh, vehicles, I could do more than American. I know a lot of people do all, but I kind of just want to stick to one type. So I'll do American. Um, <clears throat> you can use what you, uh, you know, whatever you want to use. Click save. We are good to go. Uh, let it generate the map here. Hopefully it's not messing up the map that I want. And we're going to press start. Uh, so I'm going to get into this and I'll be back as soon as I've uh, designated what my first route's going to be. All right, guys, we are in. I figured we'll do an overview of the map real quick before I tell you what my very first route's going to be. Uh, so the thing I didn't explain in the intro is that I choose to have a really long running map instead of like a square, uh, much more of a long running rectangle. Um, and that's mainly because I want to have like one like major line going down through the map from beginning to end. And so that's kind of why I wanted to pick this as, as kind of like the map, the, the, well, the map format that I wanted. So anyways, you guys can see here, uh, we have Green Bay, Bravo, uh, Chesapeake, Nor, uh, Norwalk. Okay, yeah, Norwalk. 
uh carlsbad i don't know if that's how you pronounce that or not or was uh or it's announced another way but if if that's not anyone's familiar with this town in the in a, you know in american whatever language um <laughs> is it pronounced carlsbad or is there another pronunciation let me know in this carl comments down below hartford uh glendale and inglewood is all the maps so there are eight cities so eventually what i like to have is a you know a train line probably they'll end somewhere around here and then branch off to glendale and inglewood um and then it'll run the whole way like i said holy down the map and and you're going into green bay maybe picking up some supplies elsewhere but running from green bay it's kind of the idea that i have right we're on a single train line going the whole way across the map that's where it's going to be like mainly used by a lot of different trains um which is already going to a little upset me with this first setup is that it's going to go against uh what i really would like to have in this playthrough um because i'm gonna have to put a train line in here to start that's going to block uh right off the bat the major one that i want to put in but we'll see how it plays out we'll see how it plays out so today uh the first train line we're going to put in we need to make money we need to make money good and the best way to make money is by delivering goods passengers are, are a really big wild card um when starting out and if you're playing on anything other than easy or medium starting with passengers could be uh just a, i don't know a suicide mission like you just don't want to do it start with goods something you can control and what you can control is goods because they produce in a set amount like logs here which is what i'm going to start with production is 400. i know no matter what that thing's going to push out 400 logs that i can turn into say up here for uh, an assault mill um it can turn into planks and that's makes money cha-ching money guaranteed um so that's where we're going to start out with the train line from uh Prado forest what we're going to do is we're going to go set up a station here with the tool factor we're not going to stop here we're going to set up a station here which I just realized this is uh, oriented very differently. Um, and we're going to go down here and drop off here. And then the same trains are going to bring cargo back to here. Um, so the trains are not running fully empty on the way back, which means they make a little bit more money, um, preventing me from, you know, running or running one direction full and then running the whole way back empty. Uh, I'll be able to run somewhat back or about, should be about once it's set up about 50% back um empty but delivering here before picking up more and going uh down here should help us make a, a line that's profitable right off the bat now the, the other struggle i'm going to have is getting these lines in this one's gonna be simple down here um we're just gonna have a big terminus down here we're not a big terminus but small terminus um you pay maintenance on all your buildings so you want to make sure you you don't go too big so talking about not going too big we're gonna put 80 uh, meters in early we can upgrade this stuff later Turn it around and the direction is not too bad. We just, we just want to come out of, I can see we're hooked up, but I'd much rather like to be able to see it for myself. If I can, that's possible. Now oh, there it is. All right. Cool. All right. Let's look at it right there. All right. So now what we want to do is we're going to set up a station here. Which could be a little bit on the difficult side. I'm not going to lie. Um, so let's hook you up. All right. We don't want you oriented like that. We want you orientated. We want your orientation to be more pointed towards the logs. Like that. It looks like I'll get a connection. Awesome. And we'll have you. We're probably going to delete these roads. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Um, kind of in the way hold the m and m key get these little uh hold shift m and n does it gives you a little small turn instead of big turns um all right so what we want to do okay we want to come down up all right trying to think of how i want this to go because right now should be fine should be fine it's gonna be a little wonky um speaking of wonky configure all right oh, i'll show you guys what i have planned here in a little bit uh but for now let's get the uh, let's get these roads out of the way or let's just leave these a little bit of roads all i really need to get out of the way uh, it doesn't cost anything to delete. Unfortunately, you don't get anything back for deleting. 
Uh, I don't know if you can tell them back in easy or medium mode. I know as you go up in difficulties, they don't give you as much money back for deleting stuff. All right, so there's a couple of different ways to, to build. Um, if you're not familiar with this game, one, you can build just by going point A to point B, which is where I'm going right there. Uh, it tends to give you a higher cost, um, but it will make this line as flat as possible. So if you're going uphill, downhill, it will make that incline as slow as possible, which, you know, can sometimes be almost flat. You can see a lot of earthworks going on here to make this happen. Uh, the other thing you can do if you're like this, you can also press the M and N key. Uh, N goes down, M goes up. Um, you can try to get rid of some earthworks. You can see right there, I got my cost down to only 200,000. 200, uh, I don't mind doing this sometimes. And actually, I might even go with this. Because you can do uh, some terraforming, some earthwork stuff later. Um, and, you know, make this look much cleaner than what it currently looks like. Because right now, it looks like a hot mess. Actually, it's actually not bad. I shouldn't say that. It doesn't look half bad. Um, so we're going to go with it. Let's go ahead and put that in. And we are going to we do want to double track, but I want to double track it in a unique way this time. Um, is actually, did I make a mistake? I did make a mistake. Darn it. Darn it, darn, darn it. And I don't get, I don't get money back for this. Uh, I think it's something I don't think you get a full refund back. Cause you obviously, I don't think you get the money back for the earthwork. I don't, if I do, that's great. But I don't think it happens. All right. So what I made a mistake is I want to do this on the out on the outer track, not the inner track. Um, the main reason why is when trains are coming in, I want them coming in at full speed and they're going to be coming in on full speed on the outer track. So full speed on the outer track. And then I'll show you guys what I mean here in a second. Let's go ahead and use the M and N key here again. There we go. That just, like I said, just, it usually just takes the middle point and up and lowers it or raises it. All right. So there we go. Uh, where's the okay at down here. Cool. And then we'll go on this side. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, uh, let's come out a little bit. Let's go by this rock. Now, we don't need it coming out super fast because uh, the trains I have right now, they're never, they're not going to go as fast. Like the first train I got may go 40. So making a train right now, these tracks can hold up to hundred or someone going 120 kilometers per hour. Uh, yes. If you're American, everything's in the metric system and I rec you could change it, uh, to American measurements, but I highly recommend unless they've updated the game from the last time I've tried, I highly recommend leaving it in, in the metric system because, um, you guys will see here when I make a train, it's easier to measure up how long your train should be. Uh, to your platforms if you don't do it that way unless you're a master converter uh, from metric system to the I don't know what they call the American system uh, but yeah unless you're unless you're master converting meters and defeat and stuff like that I highly recommend just leave it in, just leave it in the metric system you'll get used to it over time highly recommend just leave it that way all right so that's good that's what we want there that connects that um, and then what we'll end up doing here is we want the trains are going to um, actually be docking here on the way back. So what we want to do is first off, we want to give some space here and then have you go back in, uh, try to give it as much as you can. That's fine. We don't need to do a double switch. Uh, so you can do double switches. Um, like if I needed this train to come off here and then go straight here, then I would need a double switch. I don't need to do that. So it's going to be no. And we'll set up signals later to make that sense. And then we'll be doing the same thing kind of on this side, mirroring it uh, once we get hooked up here. All right, so we are going out. So it's going to be the middle. Okay, middle, 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 middle. All right, I'm just curious. Sometimes, like I said, I, you, so you can, so the first time you guys saw me build, I just went straight, boom, done. Um, the other way you can go is I highly recommend like getting in very close and just pulling your track out. Uh, you can see how this is going down. I actually would like to see this get a little bit closer to flat. Um, ew, I know it's downhill. I know it's downhill the entire way. Um, all right, it's not happening for me. So let's just pull it the entire way and see what happens. All right, we need this to be on the middle line. There we go. Yes, middle line. Uh, we get a bridge. Uh, I kind of figured a bridge was. Uh, all right, I don't know. Okay, we might have to do a little segments at a time. See if we, if we get this down. 
Oh, that's too much. All right, there. How does that look? That's fine. Oh, we have a collusion. It's going to be the road, which I can delete. All right, I'll probably do it that way. We'll. They said you could do little sections at a time. Oh, I broke a connection. All right, so you get these little alerts and then you also make sure if you're ever going to break a connection, have the game paused. Um, yeah, so what I did here is I broke this road, which is to you see Green Bay over here and this road connected Green Bay and Bravo. Um, and so this game has two different ways uh, towns grow. Let's go click on one real quick. Like I said, I'll try to explain as much as I can as we go. Uh, we have two like so we have destinations here where, where basically towns can travel between each other so either one I provide the transport which is public transport or citizens just travel themselves which is private transport private transports automatically a generated number I have no control over it um, I think it has a lot to do between distance and speeds you can travel so right now in the early stages it doesn't look like there's any travel between Bravo and Green Bay but in the future there probably will be as the game recognizes the connection between the two um, so as time goes on, right, we're out of the 1850s, right? And, and people get better vehicles. They travel a little faster. They'll start doing more private transport roads improve eventually over time, which allow them to go faster, improves transport numbers, the private transport numbers. So yeah, we're trying to get our connections set up here and, and provide, you know, in this case, a passenger transportation between Bravo and green Bay which is not our objective right now, or at least not one of my, one of my objectives right now. Eventually we want the transport to be going on. Um, but yeah, so you can see how that works. All right. So let's go back here again. Uh, now that that road's out of the way, we won't get the conclusion, uh, message. All right. You are on the wrong one middle. Thank you. All right. So I just need to bring this down to where there's not a bridge. I kind of just want to make this match this hill here. I think that's what I want to do. Try to get it down to flat. Good enough. And we'll definitely, once we make enough cash later, um, I'll definitely smooth all this out, make it look more, a little bit more realistic, which you see if you were traveling on a train on that route. Um, but there, no problem. All right, let's go. All right, so let's go back here. And then when we come in off this way, once again, let's leave a little bit of space. Uh, there's a reason why I'm leaving a little bit of space. Um, it's mainly, I'll just explain myself right now. Um, or actually, no, let me explain myself when I make the train later, which we'll make in here in a little bit. Um, so if you guys are wondering why I'm giving myself a little bit of space, um, if you guys have seen me play this game before, maybe on another channel, uh, you're gonna know, usually I don't give them space. Well, I learned my lesson uh, the last time and there's a reason why I'm doing it. One is to keep cost low to begin with. Uh, but then there's another reason. All right, so we got that there. So let's go ahead and give you a little bit of space like that. Oh yeah, that's definitely enough. And there we go. All right, so you are coming up, out, down, over. Yeah, so I don't think it's across the traffic here, but it's fine. It's going to be fine. All right, so now that that's set up, First off, let's put the signals in first. Let's do signals. All right. So we want to make sure our signals are one way. We want, we want to make sure our trains are staying on the right side of the tracks. Um, yeah, I'm just building big from the start. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> you guys, you guys, well, I'm going to do a lot of stuff off camera when I'm going to go stuff. I'm going to this game play a little bit off, ca uh, off camera. If you guys try this yourself in game, you guys are going to realize that there's a big gap between setting up your first route like this and until the time you're actually making money to set up some more. Uh, it's just a natural difficulty swing of hard difficulty. If you don't um, like, if you're not like a big fan of that kind of stuff, you can just uh, play on an easier difficulty and tend to make money right away. And you don't have to like slow down and wait for your account to, to build back up. But eventually, um, eventually you'll make a ton of money um, that you really don't even have to worry about. Okay. I do have to connect these roads back up. Um, Uh, so when I connect up, I always like to having the curve rule tool or the tool on because I don't like it straight because sometimes if you have curve, you actually get more of something more, more look natural looking. But unfortunately, that's not 
That's not working in my favor right now. All right, curve it. I don't like that. All right, that's a little better. All right. And you don't have to worry about roads slowing down your trains because roads don't slow down your trains. Uh, the, the, anyone taking this road will be the one slowing down. Once again, we put that road back, alert gone. Nice. All right, uh, signals. All right, so I did put one signal in, yes. All right, and same there. All right, so right now this, so right now if I put a line in, let's do the line real quick. Since I'm still feel like I'm in tutorial mode here. Uh, we'll go to, we're gonna go from the wood location we want to drop off here at the lumber yard. Hopefully I got the names of the stuff correct. And then we're going to drop back off here at the tool factory. So if everything's correct, you can see, yes, it waves over. Um, I mean, I could build this to where the traffic's going the opposite way. Could do that, uh, which would make this line a little bit more efficient looking uh, where you wouldn't have the crossover. But um, if I want to use this line for other future things, having it be in the opposite way that I want my entire traffic to travel, um, could be more detrimental in the future. So I'm just future proofing it this way. It sh the inconvenience shouldn't be too big. Uh, we may have a few slowdowns, but they shouldn't be like too far in between. All right, let's go ahead and let's name you train, uh, logs, planks. Tools, the entire circuit. Let's give you a color. Um, yes. And also if you want to do a custom, so you have all these color options, but you also can do custom color. So if you come down here, you're like, oh, I want to change white. Well, just hold down the shift key, select it, and you get this kind of uh, pop up where you can do your own custom colors. Uh, I don't even really need, uh, I don't need to do any custom colors yet. So we're just going to leave it like that. Let's go ahead and make you brown. Make you a little bit of darker brown. There we go. All right, so that's that. Next place we gotta find a place to put a train, which I may just do from back here. So let's just go ahead and grab. I had the right thing first. Need the tracks. All right, we just want to keep this flat. Uh, it's gonna look weird no matter what we do. It doesn't need to be the highest speed because, uh, once again, it's just a, it, the train starting out. It's never gonna get up to speed anyways. All right, and there we go. All right, now what we want to do, because we will have eventually have more than one train on here, is we do want to break this up a little bit more. So the best way to break it up, one, signals. Um, we really need to have signals for traffic coming down this way, as we want to make sure that, one, they are braking um, if a train's coming in. But once again, we can also do this with here. Um, where they should break too if a train's coming through. So, uh, yeah, uh, there is no trains coming this way. So right now I don't want to put a signal down because yes, signals cost maintenance. I think it's $25 each, uh, maintenance. So I definitely don't want to signal, you know, naturally I would put a signal here, but there are no trains traveling on these tracks right now. So no signal is required. So we're going straight, 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 straight. Um, uh, let's do right there. There. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about doing signals. Usually I like to do signals on train tracks. I'm not gonna do it here because I'm gonna put another signal right there. Back it up a little bit. There. And we'll put a signal right there. All right, we'll just put one in the middle here. And we'll put one in the middle here. All right, that should be all we need. Um, that's all we need to get going. All right, so now we gotta do is get our first train to buy vehicles. So we're gonna get, we only have one locomotive option, which is the Baldwin six wheels, grab it. And then the flat car. So the reason why this route works is because this uh, flat car with side stakes takes both logs and planks. And that's the only reason why this uh, uh, setup really does work for this. There are a couple more, is there a couple more? Oh, fuel's another one that works that way. I think fuel might be the last one that works that way. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Uh, fuel and, and the, the logs is the only thing that works this way. So they're usually good in the harder difficulties to do first. If you do easier difficulties, it's not necessary to have to do something as like this. You can just go to one product and then deliver it. All right. So 
the reason why i like the metric system is one once again when i'm putting these trains down here right you see 59 meters add another one get 69 meters so this tells me how long my train is um and my platforms are 80 meters i always say add about 10 to 8 to the or yeah anywhere from like 10 to 8 to this number because that's probably how long the train really is uh, i found this out the hard way this name is the, this number doesn't really match up truly to the length of the platform to the train so i'm going to do this which gives me 79 which seems like it would fit however it does not and that's the main reason why you guys when i was laying on tracks and i gave a little bit of space after or after and before the the tracks is because this is not going to uh this train's going to be just a little bit longer than the platform just a tad bit uh, but it says mediocre we should be able to go up and down hill with this size at full capacity so that's what we're going to go let's go buy it uh, we only have enough for one we are going to need to get more so we will be taking loans and we're just going to max out our loan right away get this line running at full capacity um there is one more thing i gotta do and i see like i'm i'm way over scheduled for this episode but that's fine that's fine this will be a little bit of a longer one next episodes will be a little shorter than this um so let's go ahead up oh, gonna set you on that there we go and go um All right, so the first train's not going to go, it's not going to get full. Um, the other thing I need to set up is one, to make sure this tool factory doesn't close on me, I got to deliver tools over here to Green Bay, uh, which is a pretty simple thing to do. It's not going to be very difficult, not very uh, complicated at all. So what I want to do here is, uh, nope, road. Like that. Yeah, we're just gonna i'm just gonna set this up a little bit early while this train uh gets itself worked out we're gonna set this up um buildings there we go um i always like my platform on the right hand side you guys will see i'm only gonna do one platform because i don't really care about being super efficient right now uh, i just don't want to go bankrupt and this is just to prevent this this from closing on us with with closures uh it's very possible this could close on us so we don't want it to uh, actually, I'm going to build this up a little bit so I can put more platforms on it later because it's probably something I do want to do is more platforms. Uh, so we'll go right there. All right, we need a drop off point in the city. So, oh, Green Bay, you were small. You're really small. Are you the smallest city? No, you're not the smallest, but you are the second smallest. Oof. All right, so let's get a drop off here in Green Bay. Oh, we have if I'm in the right menu. All right, drop off. All right, so over over here's the tools. So we want our drop off to be over here. Um, well, this kind of sucks. We're gonna go this way because hopefully eventually they'll go around like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and put tools right here. And then we'll get a new line in. I gotta move fast because I am running out of money. Do 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 tools. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and name this road. Let's go Green Bay. Souls. Delivery. Give you a color of blue. Boom. All right. And let's go ahead and get a depot. All right, and you have two different depots. One, this is just for passengers to see cargo type. And this one here is for uh, cargo. It takes all cargo. We're going to grab four of these. Um, like I said, just enough, not enough to really make us money, but enough to make sure we, that we don't have a, we don't have this plant closed. So what we did is we, uh, so with the new update, plants can close on you. If they're not being fully utilized, they can close. So even though this good, this plant right here will be taking in planks from down here. It can still close because it's not being utilized for delivery of tools. Having this set up for delivery of tools now prevents that plant from closing, um, which now allows us to make, should be making quite a bit of money on this line. Um, it's not going to be as profitable right here on the first run, but it will be more profitable in the future. All right, so we're just going to let this run through and we're going to put more trains on. So uh, let's go ahead and snap to putting on a new train. All right, now this train's almost down here at the other end to deliver planks. Let's go ahead and get a second train on here. And yeah, I know what you're saying. Wait, you don't have any money. And that is true. I don't really have any money, but 
we're going to take a loan and i know it looks pretty bleak right now everything's in the negative but trust me everything will be fine uh, which just remind me i have this on one time speed let's go ahead and slow this down to one four speed um you could do this game at one time speed but i don't like getting out of the early ages too fast uh so we got about two years into the game of uh on the fastest on like just normal regular one time speed uh did slow that down right now so here we go let's grab another train we're gonna take a loan out uh, i'm just gonna go ahead and borrow two million i don't know if i need a full two million um i'm gonna borrow it um i managed vehicle and we're just going ahead and clone this vehicle um yep we needed the full two million unfortunately um we have enough we still have enough cash to get a third train on which is something i'm going to do i just want to give these trains time to spread out a little bit before we add on a third there you go she's picking up a full load now there is something that we, uh as rates and stuff like that i'll get into rates and everything in a future episode uh we're a little out of time on this one um so once again i'm gonna let this run and we're gonna put on a third train uh to wrap up this episode so third train coming all right we're back our second train is right there just passed through the station other trains on its way back uh it's a good time to add on our third one um it's going to take another loan for two million i did pay back half a million when that other train docked uh got me a little bit of extra cash and you can see ooh, a little positive there looking exciting all right so let's go ahead and borrow two million Uh, we'll just grab a random train manage vehicle and clone it that's the easiest way that's the easiest way to get another train on all right so at this point i'm i may do it a fourth train off camera i'll make that decision as things run um just go ahead and run uh but that's where i'm that's where i'm going to leave this first episode it's going to be a little bit of a longer one than what i normally record so if you like longer episodes you'll enjoy this one uh typically i don't try to make them this long but we'll see how it goes in the future i do have plan on doing some fast track building which is just me uh building while uh, let's you know fast forward the speed of the video uh in the future uh with that said guys hope you enjoy this i uh, can't wait to see it, see us complete this apex challenge in eight different cities on this large size map on hard difficulty uh but with that said guys i hope to catch you on the next one before you go like share subscribe all that great stuff and i'll catch you on the next one bye